Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Crack and Fall, and today we are doing a vlog. I don't know how to do vlogs, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm going to PAX West. It's a lot of fun, so I thought I'd share a little bit of that fun with you. So I'm all packed, ready to go, and I'm just waiting for a friend to carpool with. So we should be heading out pretty soon. In the meantime, Hobbs is with me. Hobbs just went to the vet. <laughs> so he's got a tummy window. Oh. I don't know if you can hear that. He's purring real loud. What are you doing? Luca, stop it. The microphone is not a toy. All right, enough of that expert camera work. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get going. All right. That seat's five. Yeah. Software engineer money, am I right? Actually hear me. Can you hear me? I shouldn't. I should have checked okay. that. We're done with registration. Okay, okay, registration. Okay. Okay. I didn't see anything in the first day really that I wanted to go to, so we're just gonna head over to the show floor. Should be good. So I forgot about security again, and I have a bag with a rat's nest of cables. Sir? Okay. So any number of things could set it off. Put them right here on the table. That's okay. We're not in a hurry. Big charger. Uh huh. Do you think an epic pen would set it off? Mm, I doubt it. And now take your bag and go through again. Okay, that's hey. ruled out. Let me try the show. Line is open. Everything through the night. Damn. First try. Not bad. So I forgot about Nintendo Live, which I did get tickets to. Unfortunately, so did everybody in my party. They don't have tickets. <laughs> So I'm gonna go to that alone instead of the show floor. I've never been to a Nintendo event before. Yep. It should be interesting. I'm gonna say that a million times. Now that's a long line. That was the back of the line. Log in. <laughs> So I've been in line for about 20 minutes. And I think I just realized this is the merch line. I don't really know what Nintendo Live's about yet. I might still get something. Hello. How are you? Oh, doing all right? Do you have any concert tickets today? I don't. Okay. Pretty bad. Thank you. Which hand would you like? It wasn't merch. Nice. Okay. So I really did have to stay in that line. That's good. <laughs> What's in the goodie bag though? We've got... This is actually kind of heavy. Oh. Nintendo Live 23. Some pins. Yeah. Activity book. Hell yeah. I hope they have coloring in here. <laughs>
that's it. It's kind of short. Not sure if it was worth waiting in line, but I got to play uh, Super Mario Wonder, so that was cool. On with the rest of the show. Okay, here's the show floor. I wonder how big the size is this year, because last year the show floor covered both what Nintendo had and this area, so that's kind of nuts. Mongus. This year, PAX is spread across multiple buildings all around the convention centers, so that's unexpected. Now I'm heading to the tabletop area and it looks like we're near food? PAX got so big this year. It's like a festival. Of course I went to the wrong floor. I was six floors off. That's just half of them. We're going to the Girlfriend Reviews Q&A panel, so that should be fun. I like their channel. I've been to PAX every year except 2020 for the last like six years, and it's really fun. It's worth coming. Something weird about growing up as a nerd, being a social outcast, and then being a, among tens of thousands of my fellow nerds. It's weird. I love it. Feels good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they got mad at me for trying to record at the Girlfriend Reviews really? panel, yeah. Starting that early. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta follow nope, you. Nope, nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No. There you go, there you go. One second, Father. No, wow. Oh, yeah. We got yeah. this. You guys are gonna get effed. Good morning. We want to do some tabletop tourneys today. Probably gonna do a lot more tabletop, less panels. Didn't, doesn't seem to be much interesting, but last year we missed like six tournaments because we just didn't sign up early enough, which no one told us we had to. So hopefully uh, we get in. We're gonna do magic, boo for me, <laughs> and uh, hopefully bad. Dominion. We'll see. But I'm gonna pay attention to the road so I can run over. Forwards. I had a feeling you were gonna go off. Damn. Takes you on there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Have a good one. Oh no. I hope we get in. Lords of Waterdeep. We have the, a couple of waitlist ones for Lords of Waterdeep, so you can go ahead and grab as many as you need for that one. Okay. Um, and Dominion. And then just come out about 10 minutes before the game starts. Yeah. Some people, you know, they grab it and just track the time. So. Dominion's full. I'm on a waitlist, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna show up just to wait to see if I'm not gonna play. You were gonna win. 
It's because I have never played Magic before. Oh shit! Welcome! Yeah. I will need to read. For <laughs> the guards. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. I'm a plant, by the way. Or a toad. Oh, Kirby. Kirby? I'm going to take a big hit. It's swamp, and then you say tap. So you would tap these, use the mana to spend it on a card. Usually you'd want to play a creature. I was never into magic Enjoyed or like the idea of playing magic until I played Inscription. And then people were like, you should yeah. play, you should oh, play love it. magic. And I was like, well, real life microtransactions, I'm not into that. But now I'm like, okay, yeah. maybe yeah. maybe a little bit. So I yeah. Yeah. Play it. Yeah. Which is... I assume they will fucking get packs back. <laughs> Oh, wow. I'm really not going to like this card. <laughs> Here. Okay, I don't know how you're going to swap it out after. Uh, good luck. Yeah. Okay, and then mushrooms and... Yeah. Uh, we'll water? Yeah. Um. I think next year I'm gonna cosplay as a deodorant stick and pass out deodorant. I literally just mentioned that. <laughs> yeah. This is so fucking cool. Are you kidding me? I know. I do not know what this gathering is about. Oh, it's a raffle. They were giving away like a statue. This was the last one. Oh, okay. I'm good. I don't need a raffle. It's a hookah lounge. Huh? It's a hookah lounge. Yeah, it looks like it was all the smoke. Last day of PAX, I have to get packed. Paxed? I have to get paxed. Okay, because we can't come back to the hotel. They've got checkout, which is okay. There's actually not a lot that we want to do today. I think it's just going to be mostly chilling out. We've seen the expo halls. We've played a bunch of console games. There's a lot of board games like we played at... Oh. <laughs> Somebody stopped us on the street and gave us a pre-release version of the Cards Against Humanity company, their next game. And uh, I have no idea what it is, so that'll be interesting. But it was hilarious. I was very suspicious at first, because like, if somebody steals product and just tries to give it away, I don't want that product, you know? That's like a risk that I don't need to take. But it has this, uh, has this message, it's like PAX goers. 
And while that doesn't really prove anything, it does make me more comfortable. So, you know, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Probably not. It's, it's probably just free stuff. Yeah, I hope I got everything for this video because I'm really bad at vlogs and I'm bad at storytelling. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video so far. We will just chill out for the rest of the day, I think. Long breakfast. I'm rushing over to the Magic Tournament, see if I can get in again and win another pack. We'll see. I gotta go meet my family for lunch because they all live in Seattle, so that's kind of cool. But I don't have much time. I lost. I got a free pack out of it though, so now I have a full 60 cards, which apparently is the full deck size for a real Magic game, so that's cool. <laughs> Resisting. Uh, resisting. And how does he go forward with this? Uh, just hold it. Okay. I'll grab a screen cap. You got it. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> You're so welcome. Here you go, my friend. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the convention. Thanks. Thank hey, you so much. I already got paid, so I'm gonna resist. 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 Let's go. So what has that been? Uh, death. Nice. Sure. It's the absolute. He's got a heart. I would think as a resistor, I wouldn't get the absolute then. So I, I was talking about how I re resisted and they gave me the wrong pin. And so the guy turned around and gave me the other pin. So I've got both. I have kissed the Mind Flare and killed the Mind Flare. So jealous. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. That may be the best thing at PAX. So I can just plug this in and like have a ambient you know, gaming it. session. Yeah. So this is a Threadripper system and it has six PCIe lines and these five PCIe USB cards. Yeah, right, because you need more USB controllers. Yeah, so back here it's literally filled to the brim with USBs. Very cool. back home. <laughs> PAX was a lot of fun this year, which is good because it's very a lot in the past. 2020 obviously didn't happen, but 2021 uh, was a lot smaller due to COVID restrictions and just general, you know, COVID times. PAX has also been a lot smaller in the past. This year was huge. I would say almost three times the size of past years, which is weird because the panels in PAX this year were a lot less 
involved. There used to be panels talking about accessibility in games and like game design and a bunch of other things. I think I went to a Patrick Rothfuss speaker panel in like 2018 or something like that. I can't remember. I think Jacksepticeye came to PAX one year, but this year it didn't have all that. So I was thinking about why PAX was so fun and I think it passed the vibe check. <laughs> I think it's because of the feeling I had where we were all just there because we loved gaming. Like whether it was tabletop or video games, it didn't matter. I felt like I could talk to any person there just randomly. I would have something in common with them and something to be friendly about. I didn't have to worry about talking to random people. I'd say overall, I couldn't help feeling this sense of overwhelming emotional security, <laughs> which may be overthinking it a bit, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. I've been working with my therapist and it's been surprising to find out just how much of what I do is driven by a fear of some type. And I don't mean like fear as in a fear of of danger, but it's like uh, the stress of trying to avoid an outcome. And what I mean, like well, avoiding social situations or forcing myself to work in a way so that I don't fail, trying not to fail, trying to prevent basically bad stuff that's happened to me in the past from happening again. The problem is I'm way past in my life when that kind of stuff should happen very often. I don't really need to think that way anymore. And it's just something that's been a blind spot for me in how I'm made up as a person. I feel like PAX this year provided me a way to skip all that and kind of just focus on what I enjoy. What I enjoy about gaming, hanging out with friends, just not really thinking about what could go wrong. And I think I needed that. I didn't have to think about doing things right and figuring out how to control the situation, control the environment, control my behavior in a way that is going to bring out the best outcome. I really just was able to kick back and, and have fun. So yeah, I, I would recommend PAX. 10 out of 10 would do again. <laughs> If you can go with a, a friend group that's safe and fun and uh, bonus points if they go with the flow, it's such an awesome convention to go to. Before I go, I do want to say thank you so much for watching, especially this far. I tried to do a vlog last year, but I just had so many issues with the footage, like it just didn't work out. I will say that next year I'm probably going to try and get a better camera because, man, the GoPro Max that I used just didn't have enough resolution. Everything's blurry and I, I just I was like not happy with that. Anyway, I don't normally do vlogs, but I might do them every once in a while. Uh, I've got a lot more videos in the pipeline, a couple series to finish, but uh, I'm working on it. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.